Hello again, and welcome back to the composition vlog. It's been about a month since I last filmed, and to be honest, not a lot has got done. Um, summer things mostly, house guests and yeah, just being at home and I had another round with a chest infection, and now I'm blocked, <laughs> which is not fun, but a, you know, a common part of the process. So uh, I'm just keeping on sort of poking away at things, trying to get back into it, but I've also been spending quite a bit of time doing things I can just do, so largely PhD work um, and some stuff around the house. But the good news is that in spite of all of that, uh, the Britain Variations is now a piece. Um, I always find this a slightly strange part of the process. I mean, it's a good part, but it's a bit weird where you sort of move from having bits of ideas and something that could be something maybe at some point. And yeah, I, t I took what I had from the last episode along to the workshop with Amy. And at the end of it, when she played through the whole thing, we, we turned to each other and we went, oh, we've got a piece. And so that was a really nice thing to feel like there was a sort of an approximately complete structured thing. It's not finished by quite a long shot, um, but it was really nice to feel that it was sort of starting to come together um, and that it was actually a real thing and I've, I've got a clear path forward and I don't feel I need to sort of change any ideas now, I just need to work on what I've got. It's been a long time coming. Um, so what I've ended up with then is two movements and a teeny tiny coda, um, which isn't a full movement, it's, it's sort of just an idea that I really want on the end, and it just seems to sort of tie everything together a bit neatly and sort of pull everything out. Um, and yeah, I just, I felt it was very satisfying when she played it, and it sort of made, made a nice sort of rounding off of the piece. Uh, it's basically the final figure of the original, but really stretched out and with a huge focus on tone colour. Um, so most of it is actually played on the wound part of the string on the other side of the bridge, um, which is a bit unpredictable in terms of pitch. And yeah, it's it's I, I really love that sound. I think it's I think it's very beautiful. And so I'm thinking I might try and pull some of that into the previous movements to sort of bind that all a bit more. Um, overall the workshop was very helpful and while, I mean like I say, we've got a piece, yay, um, there is still quite a lot of work to be done on both the first and the second movement. Um, <coughs> the first movement is mainly, I feel, a case of sort of here and there, there are bits that I feel need to be stretched out and made more of and there's a couple of direct quotes from the original that have less of that flavour of echo of the original that I was hoping for and more of a vibe of bleeding chunks of Britain, which I don't want. Um, so I need to find a way to sort of smooth those into the surrounding material, maybe make them a bit shorter and sort of tweak things so that um, yeah, so they just blend a bit better and it's just like a little moment rather than, now there's a Britain quote. Uh, yeah, so I've got to work on that. The second movement is structurally okay. I think the beginning's good. <laughs> I think the end's quite good. Um, we did a lot of work in in the rehearsal with the sort of the middle and the end sort of taking bits of what was there and sort of cutting them in half and shoving something else in the middle and just sort of making things up like that. There's a lot of arrows and things. And so I need to get those into the score, but I also need to really 
work on that middle section because I feel it does need to be quite a bit longer. There needs to be more material than there is um, in, in the center of it. Uh, so there's quite a lot of work to be done with those. I think the biggest change that we made in the workshop is that because of the pictures that came out of the cipher um, and you know necessary restrictions of how big are your hands, um, Amy actually cannot play that first chord with those pitch changes um, as as written. You know, if you don't make any changes to the instrument, so we've had to tune the C string down to a B flat, and that's working now. So she can reach that that initial chord, I think it's C-sharp to E, um, and she can also reach the normal, you know, she can just shift the whole thing down by a semitone as well to get that original that would normally use the open string. <coughs> <coughs> um, so this has led to some sort of quite nice moments. There were some parts where, uh, yeah, it's, it's seems to be an open string which then of course means that's a B flat instead of the C that you'd expect um, which I'm quite liking because it just sort of twists that tonality a little bit more um, even on top of the cipher so I want to play with that a bit more as I'm going through uh, what I have so now I'm in a process of doing that and also trying to clean up the scores because yeah they're a bit not a bit they're very messy um, and Amy has been delightful about all of that and I, I did offer to clean them up before and she said oh no 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 just bring them along um, but it was good to sort of talk about the notation and what is sort of legible and what's needed uh, and I've remade the score for the coda because that had the fewest changes and I, I thought we can just sort of sort that out straight away and get that done and that's I sent that off to her yesterday um, and in that ver first version, I was basically scribbling out anything I didn't want or writing over the top of it in a different colour. Um, in this version, I've been experimenting more with erasure and using an erase tool in the program that isn't like 100%. So basically there's little shadows left of some of the notation that was there before. So it's not, it's not clear enough to be confusing but I think it gives a nice sort of echo of what was there and sort of ties in saying okay this came from somewhere else this isn't just um, you know picked plucked out of the air um, I'm still not sure what the final form is going to be for the notation and I'm trying not to worry about it too much to be honest uh, we still need to finish the piece um, and I think this is it, it's working well for me to be working on the iPad in this way um, and yeah I'm just gonna work all that out later really once we, we sort of start talking about you know, where we are for a version for publication um, then I'll start thinking about do I actually want to just renotate everything um, or find a way to do this I've been sort of I've been working at as high a resolution as I can on the iPad, just in case it needs to be printed. Um, but yeah, undetermined. So that's where that is. And I think that's it, really. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.